Supposed to be an amazing football experience turned out to be a disaster for about 100 local NFL fans in Hampton Roads. These fans thought they were paying for a bus trip and tickets to Sunday's Redskins Cowboys game at FedEx Field. But when they arrived there were no tickets. Robert Boyd is here with the story. Well, Regina and David, we know these two fan bases, Redskins and Cowboys, they don't get along uh, to begin with. So imagine uh, having to be on a bus together for hours on your way to what you think is an exciting game, only to get there and find out the tickets you paid for, they don't even exist. And then you're forced to sit in the parking lot and miss the entire game. There was anger, there was frustration. We had kids who were in tears um, because their parents had told them, you know, they were going to this game. and they Nakia Gray of Chesapeake is a diehard Cowboys fan. So when she saw this Facebook post by a woman named Charlotte Brown advertising a bus trip, tailgate party, and ticket to the Redskins Cowboys game for $185, she didn't hesitate. Um, it was a great deal. I definitely wanted to go see that game. That's one of the biggest rivalries in the NFL. Gray and more than 100 other fans from Hampton Roads piled into two charter buses around 7 a.m. Sunday. When they arrived, it was all smiles until they approached the 425 kickoff and there were no tickets in their hands. Started becoming worried um, and especially because no one was answering our questions. We couldn't find Charlotte. We didn't see her. Gray says it was a helpless feeling sitting on the bus right next to the stadium with no tickets and no answers. First quarter ended, nothing. Second quarter ended, nothing. Then around halftime, Charlotte Brown, the woman in charge of the trip, got onto the bus. Gray says they were told due to some sort of mix up, no one was getting their tickets. I just couldn't believe that I'm there to see my favorite team. I'm so close that I can look at the arena right there and yet I can't go in to see them play. Gray says the Brown promised everyone their money back, but so far she hasn't seen a dime. I don't know if this was a scam. I don't know if this was just, um, you know, a terrible organization. I learned a huge lesson. I mean, you know, sometimes a, a, a deal is too good to be true. Now, I did speak over the phone with the woman in charge of this event who did collect the money, Charlotte Brown, but she refused to give me any sort of statement. But what we do know is these fans are still waiting for their money. Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.